The Elephant and Blind Men parable is a Buddhist story. It talks about blind men being taken to an elephant. The, the Raja, or teacher, presents a part of the elephant to each blind man. So, one of the blind men is presented with the head of the elephant, another one with the ears, another one is presented with the tusks of the elephant, another a trunk, a foot, the back of the elephant, and even the tail of the elephant. Well, then the Raja, the Raja or teacher, asks each of them, what sort of thing is an elephant? And they respond, the first one that had the head of the elephant, it said, it's like a pot. And the other one that had the ears, it's like a type of basket. The other one that had the tusk mentioned, oh, it's like a plowshare. It's really sharp. The blind man that had the foot of the elephant said, oh, it's like a pillar, and so on. Well, then they begin to quarrel, all the blind men together, and they, they start saying, oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. An elephant is not that. Yes, it's like that, and so on. It comes out with the, the teacher basically saying that all the viewpoints of the blind men are just an aspect of the truth. And if you put them all together, then you have a complete picture. And that's what the parable tries to illustrate. Well, the parable actually misses a couple very crucial points. First, we don't know who is the Raja. Who is the teacher that can see? Who has a clear view of the elephant? And in all possibility, any belief system has the possibility of being the Raja or the teacher. Any one of our world religions has the possibility of being the clearest view of reality. You know, the Raja could be a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew, Hindu, or Sikh. The lesson also doesn't work in reality because in the world of religions, instead of each world view observing a different part of the elephant, we are actually observing the same parts of the elephant. For example, all religions have a teaching about death. When you die, you either go to heaven or hell, or you get reincarnated, or you go to astral worlds, or you lie in a grave. But you can't do them all. They cannot all be right. You see, the parable leads you to believe the Raja's or teacher's viewpoint is better than all the other world viewpoints because he sees the inadequacy or blindness of all the other world's beliefs. But you know, it's funny. When a Christian shares his faith in Jesus, that he usually gets attacked for believing other religions to be inadequate. But the teacher in the elephant parable is adored when he views the inadequacies of all the other religions. Truth exists. May we all keep searching.